Good evening. The state television company of Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. The parliamentary discussion of the Republic of Western Armenia. Uruguay's El Observator newspaper covers Leonardo Basmajan's statement. Talish activists call on their compatriots not to take part in the clashes against Armenians. Bahan Badassian wounded on the battlefield. The Syrian Kurds deny their involvement in the fighting in Artsakh. Lake Akkyol in Van has completely dried up. Peter Gabriel about the magic of Duduk Armenian culture and the war. On October 6, the regular parliamentary discussion of the Republic of Western Armenia took place. President of Western Armenia, Amenak Abramian, Prime Minister Sedam Melikan, seven deputies were present at the sitting held in Yerevan, 13 were absent. The absence was partially conditioned by the Artsakh War. A number of issues were discussed during the parliamentary discussion, including organizational and statutory issues. Mr. Abramian made a speech, answered the questions of the deputies, which mainly referred to the Artsakh War and its resolution. The the president also added that the parliament had sent a press release to all the parliaments on the current situation of Artsakh, where the situation was described in detail. The session lasted one hour and 45 minutes. It was decided to hold the sitting of the National Assembly every Thursday. It is possible that a special sitting will be convened too. The famous Uruguayan newspaper El Observator referred to the call recently posted on our website which was made by the Speaker of the National Assembly of Western Armenia, Leonardo Basmajan, addressed to the international media platforms. The newspaper completely published Mr. Basmajan's speech where he condemned the Azerbaijani Turkish aggression against Artsakh. The newspaper is published in Uruguay but has a large audience in Latin America and other Spanish-speaking countries. Azerbaijani Talish activists call on their compatriots not to take part in the clashes against Armenians. The conflict between Azerbaijan and Nagorno-Karabakh over the past week has caused heavy losses on both sides. We as a group of Talish activists send our condolences to the innocent victims on both sides of the conflict. We are extremely saddened by these events. By addressing both sides, we advocate friendship and brotherhood among the peoples of the Caucasus as well as respect towards international norms regarding people's right to determine their own fate. There is no military solution to this conflict as this will only lead to problems passed down to future generations. We are extremely concerned by the Azerbaijani government's systematic efforts to send Talish men to the front, by the large number of Talish deaths and the efforts to spread hate towards Armenian. It is clear to us that the majority of Talish people are unhappy with this situation. On the one hand, the Azerbaijani government is suppressing any form of freedom of speech in the country. We call on the Azerbaijani government for the last to put an end to its plan to destroy and spread hate among the Talish people. We advocate a brotherly coexistence among the people of Caucasus. If certain people support another route, then we call on them not to involve us in their plans. We call on Talish people not to join the military and avoid being subjected to gunfire in the clashes, the statement reads. Baham Badesian, parliament member of Western Armenia, Knight of the Battle Cross Order, leader of the United Armenian Party in Artsakh, was wounded on the battlefield. Badesian has been on the front line since the first day of the war unleashed by Azerbaijan. According to Badesian's relatives, he received a head injury. The condition is assessed as table serious. Baham Badesian was operated on in Goris and transferred to Yerevan. We wish the heroic Armenian a speedy recovery. The statement of the State Security Service of Azerbaijan that Armenia uses mercenaries from Iraq and Syria in the battles on the line of contact in Artsakh does not correspond to reality. Abdul Salam Ali, a representative of the Kurdish Democratic Union of Syria, told Rear Novosti. Earlier, the State Security Service of Azerbaijan reported that it recorded a conversation of mercenaries who took part in hostilities on the line of contact. According to Azerbaijan, the Armenian side uses mercenaries from Iraq and Syria in the fighting. According to Abdul Salam Ali, it would be beneficial for Turkey to promote the idea of attracting mercenaries from the Armenian side so that Ankara can justify its interventions by Azerbaijan to try to ignore the outrageous facts that the terrorist groups are now fighting against the Armenian army under the Azerbaijani flag. Lake Akgyol in the promise of one Western Armenia, which was home to many bird species, has completely dried up and turned into a desert. The area of Akgyol, located 30 kilometers from Ozal province and 2,343 meters above sea level, is 407 hectares. It was considered a habitat for many species of wild birds, especially flamingos. After drying, the lake with a high salt content was covered with white. In previous years, the partially dried lake has completely dried up this year, which has worked the residents of the region. 
Peter Gabriel, one of the founders of the rock band Genesis, has touched upon the events unfolding the border of Artsakh on his Facebook page, adding how he was introduced to Armenia and its culture and how he loved the warmth of the people. It was the magic of the duduk, possibly the most soulful instrument in the world, that introduced me to Armenia, he outlined. The fighting that has now broken out between Azerbaijan and Armenia is really horrific and we need to lobby whoever we can to encourage a ceasefire. But hearing reports that President Erdogan has now lined up 80,000 Turkish troops on the Armenian border is a terrifying prospect full of dark echoes of history. Please encourage your politicians, Brussels, NATO and the UN to get involved before a lot more lives are lost, he mentioned. Now let us represent to your attention a song by Sahak Sahakyan. <laughs> Yet merge Karinka Parash Hosen, Chenasi the Hai Karjani, Hai the Sturkaka, Anar Pichaki, Mesur Kashna Pianskurzer. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.